A six-year-old girl, who was receiving alternative treatment from a controversial orthodontist, had a huge ulcer, an abuse court heard. Allegedly, she gave unnecessary jawline reshaping to two-year-olds. The General Dental Council has heard that Dr. Mew will wear upper and lower arch extenders for his patients to help align the teeth and reposition the jawline. Maxillofacial surgeon Dr. Keith Altman said at the hearing that Patienta, a six-year-old former patient of Mew's, was referred to him in May 2017 for tongue tie. The patient came to him because his mother was worried that he was not able to use his language fully. Altman said that Dr. Mew had him fitted with lower upper belt brackets, that both belts have upper lower brackets, both have midline screws. He said patient came to his appointment that day with a suppressed look, which he believed was due to the pain caused by ulcer. He had a huge, very large ulcer, but the apparatus in his mouth, he would find it very, very painful. I told mother not to wear those instruments, to let the ulcer heal, so there was no need untie tongue tie. The doctor was assistant medical director at Queen Victoria Hospital in East Grinstead. Lydia Barnfather from GDC questioned Dr. Altman and said, as someone who saw patient at the time, you use term open arches, what do you mean by that? Mew allegedly administers unnecessary jawline reshaping treatment to two-year-olds. When you have an anterior open bite, there is some space between the teeth so the spaces get unnecessarily wide, Dr. Altman replied. You mentioned that this six-year-old patient was in a suppressed mood, and that this large ulcer might be causing some distress, you had some concerns for her well-being. Yes, of course, naturally, replied Dr. Altman. You said, the device has midline screws, can you explain a bit? You said you were worried that the devices inserted into patient A were causing damage, also did you notice that a piece of meat was traumatized? Dr. Altman told court that midline screw in lower appliance hit oral tissue, and the more piece of tissue swells, more traumatized it is. If child is expected to have the tools 24 hours a day, then that damage has no chance of healing, so situation gets worse, said Dr. Altman. Defending Mew, Stephen Bullo asked maxillofacial surgeon in terms of ulcer, clearly noted it. Do you remember conversation had with your mother about ulcer? It a long time ago, but I would openly tell him it was a pretty big ulcer, and the best way to heal it to remove the instruments completely, Dr. Altman replied. But you didn't suggest any treatment other than removal of the instruments. Maxillofacial surgeon Dr. Keith Altman said a six-year-old former patient of Muse came to him with a suppressed look, which he believed was caused by pain caused by an ulcer. No, it would be a removing the device, said Dr. Altman. In terms of orthotropic therapy, would it be fair to say that you may have heard of it, but that you are not an expert? I have no idea about orthotropic therapy, but I understand the harm when I see it replied Dr. Altman. Dr. Mew denies that his ability to exercise was impaired due to misconduct. The charge relates to vice treatment he gave to two children, named patient A and patient B, between September 2013 and May 2019. Patient B was only two years old when her treatment began in 2013. The trial continues 